Amidst the beautiful backdrop of these ultra-modern high-rises, Hisense team up with Yellow's Marble Runs to bring you what promises to be a riveting event, the Hisense Marble World Cup. Welcome everyone trackside, I'm Greg Woods. This a twist on the well-known format for qualifying in the World Cup. We begin today with the group stages. Marbles absolutely packed in the stands right now, hoping that their country will be able to advance to the knockout round for the High Sense Marble World Cup. In order to do that, however, they will have a daunting course ahead of them. Yes, they need to make it down to the pitch at the bottom of the track, but to get there, you will see hairpins, you will see splits, these chevrons that bump them off the walls, a slight bank section going around here on a dangerous entry to a double right-hander that funnels down through sand. Then, we have a couple more twists and turns as they navigate through the High Sense Lounge. These are the intrepid countries that hope to advance out of the group stage to make it to the knockout round. You see a mixture of teams from all across the world. This is oftentimes the only opportunity that some of these teams have to compete against each other. And it's hot out here, not always easy for some of them. But competitors are cooling down thanks to our partner Hisense. They're having a refreshing moment with the Air Conditioner Energy Pro. Back in the locker rooms, you can see the tension building. They're wondering, what will they have to do to qualify in the top two of each one of these races? It's our hosts, Qatar, alongside Senegal and Ecuador and the Netherlands, and the Netherlands gets shouldered backwards. They fall to the back. Qatar leads. Senegal moves up into second place. That was a good move. But Ecuador is hounding them closely. Netherlands need to pick up the pace. Oh, good double move there by Ecuador to take the lead out of the chicane. They come around that hairpin ready for the drop. As we take a look, oh, Senegal impacts the inside. It all comes undone. They didn't master the exit of that banking. Now to the split. Ecuador leads through that step over. Netherlands needs to have an epic comeback here. It's not going to happen. Ecuador have qualified. And our hosts are through as well. Well, that was quite a start. Barely any time to breathe as we're ready for Group B. Down they come. Oh, and it was a great start there for the English team. They managed to get ahead of everybody, but the U.S., with some speed on the exit, gets through. Down that back stretch they come. Iran. Falls to the back there. The European team tries to make two moves up in two corners. That one doesn't work for him. The U.S. has it coming here. Oh, England! Fall out of the banking. It's not coming home this time. They are in dead last. The U.S. around the turn. Bunch of space behind. As they get ready to enter onto the pitch, they will qualify. One of the European team there. The Iranians and the English are eliminated. Next up, Argentina, Saudi team, Mexico, and Poland. Oh, and Poland gets the better start, but can't hold it through the first turn. And instead, it is the Saudis. They bump off the wall and crawl to a stop here, but they manage to keep going. Poland losing touch with these top two. That is the position for advancement. You have to finish there. Doesn't matter if you win the group necessarily, although that is a nice bonus. Down through the sand. Mexico have gotten by into third. Oh, and look at the top two shadowing each other very closely. Onto the exit, around the final turn, and out onto the pitch. Oh, it's going to be very close across the line into the goal. And it's Argentina, our two-time World Cup champions. They get the win. Oh, and unfortunately, we had one DNF with Mexico. Ready for Group D. The French, the Danish, Tunisians, and the European team that will advance from the playoff. Off they come, and the French hold the lead here around that turn. Nobody able to make too many moves through those first couple of sequences. France, defending champions of the World Cup from back in 2018. They did it also back in 1998. Way to do it here in the Marble World Cup. That would be the icing on the cake. Oh, and that last turn coming out of the banking is a devious one. Tunisia goes all the way to the back. And this could be an easy victory 
to which France will coast as they come onto the pitch to the roar of the crowd. But the question is, who will qualify? And it is ICP. Tunisia and the Danish, they are eliminated. So far, these are the predicted teams that have qualified thus far. As so we take a look at the Hisense replay, and some of the competitors are actually watching this and learning from their rivals on the Hisense U7 TV with 120 hertz refresh rate. That's a good picture. And meanwhile, back in the locker room with the leading technology of the Hisense side-to-side -side fridge, the athletes are able to get nice and refreshed and keep their cool in the hottest of environments, and we mean that temperature-wise, but also in intensity. Taking a look at the Hisense Lounge. People are happy with the way that things have gone so far, but still some are wondering if their country will qualify. In the gate, ready to go. It's a long hold this time, and that only ratchets up the intensity. Germany swings around the first two turns in the lead in front of Spain. Oh, and had a little bit of impact there with Spain as well. The two of them are streaking off into the distance over Japan, but there's still a long lap to go. Down the drop, they both opt to their right side. And once again, that exit out of the banking makes things difficult for Spain. Japan shoots up into the transfer spot. Through the step over. Here comes a second wind for Spain, but they're slow out of that turn. Can they make it up on the pitch? It's not going to happen. Germany will qualify. Japan makes it as well. Our 2010 World Cup winner, Spain, they are out. As we see, there are spots to be gained on this circuit. Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. And the Canadians get out to a pretty good lead. In the meantime, Belgium bringing up the rear back behind, but this is very close between everybody up there. The top four only a length apart. So much contact between them, sending some marbles going forward, others to the wall, and this is only the group stage. Canada swings through the banking, onto the sand. Morocco holding station in second place. Croatia is hoping to make up some time here in these final few turns. I don't think they're going to be able to make contact with these top two, however. Canada comes across 3706. They will qualify along with Morocco. Well done to Canada. We're getting through there. Brazil, Serbia, Swiss, and Cameroon up in the gate. For this group stage, down they come. Cameroon with the early lead. Serbia looks to the inside, but that door is shut quickly. The Swiss fall all the way back to fourth now. Brazil in third, but here they come on the inside. They shouldered Serbia to the side and get up into second place. That was a great move, but back they come through the banking. Serbia got out of control, trying to make up the move, and what a great pass by the Swiss. From last to first, Switzerland snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. They come through and qualify at the last. Cameroon also makes it. And the stalwart Brazilians go no further. Down we come for this group with Korea, Ghana, Portugal, and Uruguay. Ghana team right there shadowing the South Koreans. Through the side-to-side -side slalom, it's now a three-way battle only for second place. Oh, and that is developing and widening as we go. Portugal up into second. Korea navigating the banking very well. The same cannot be said for Uruguay on that exit. Opting for the outside line. Interesting coming through that split. Korea. Onto the pitch to raucous cheers. South Korea have qualified, as have Portugal. Ghana and Uruguay will be eliminated. As we take a look at the list of predicted qualified teams, and what a bruising round this was, even though it was only the group stage. Who will advance to the knockout round? You'll have to let us know down in the comments, but we thank you for watching the group stage play of the High Sense Marble World Cup.